turn now to the deadly case involving a chokehold on the New York City subway. Tonight, the former Marine who is facing manslaughter charges on what he says happened on that train car. Here's ABC's Stephanie Ramos again tonight. Tonight, the man accused of choking a homeless man, Jordan Neely, to death on a New York City subway speaking out, giving his version of what happened inside that subway car on May 1st. <laughs> Daniel Penny saying it all started when Neely got on the train yelling and scaring other passengers. The three main threats that he repeated over and over was, I'm going to kill you, I'm prepared to go to jail for life, and I'm willing to die. Penny saying he restrained Neely so he couldn't carry out those threats, but did not intend to kill him. I used this hole to restrain him, and I did this by leaving my hand on top of his head to control his body. You can see in the video there's a clear rise and fall of his chest indicating that he was still breathing. But the prosecutors who charged Penny with manslaughter allege that when Penny releases his arm from around Neely's neck, he appears to be unconscious. No justice! Help me! Neely's death sparking days of protests in New York City, some calling Neely's chokehold death a lynching. Right, Penny pushing back on those claims. Some people say that this was about race, which is absolutely ridiculous. I didn't see a black man threatening passengers. I saw a man threatening passengers, a lot of whom were people of color. Neely's family has not commented on Penny's video. Attorneys for Neely's family say he was battling mental health issues. David. Stephanie Ramos on this case again tonight. Thank you, Stephanie. Now to the war in Ukraine and images coming in from the fierce fight in Ukraine's counteroffensive underway. And you're about to see tonight video reportedly of Russian soldiers being taken captive as the Ukrainians take back several villages. Tom Sufi Burge from Ukraine tonight. Ukrainian forces breaking through Russian defenses, making their first gains in a major new counteroffensive. Troops recapturing 35 square miles in the southeast of the country, according to a Ukrainian defense official. Soldiers raising the Ukrainian flag, taking back seven villages. This drone video appearing to show Russian soldiers taken captive. Tonight, President Zelensky calling the battles tough, but saying his forces are moving forward. Well, these Ukrainian attack helicopters are flying down to the front lines a short distance away to try and attack Russian positions. It's the counter-offensive here, ramps up. The helicopters flying as low as a yard off the ground to avoid Russian missiles. Launching rockets, then flares to foil enemy radar. Some Ukrainian attacks facing fierce resistance from the Russians, but most analysts believe an even bigger push by Ukrainian forces is still to come. David, Tom Sufi Burridge and the team in Kiev again tonight. Thank you, Tom. We're going to turn now to the miracle and the jungle tonight. The remarkable new images here from the Amazon rainforest. Four children, ages 13, 9, 5, and an infant, found alive 40 days after the plane crash, killed the adults on board. Here's ABC's Victor Kemper now. Tonight, new video shows the moment the Colombian military finally found four lost siblings deep in the Amazon. Dehydrated and bug-bitten, but remarkably alive and alert. On May 1st, the four children, ages 13, 9, 5, and an infant, were on this plane with their mother and two other adults when the engine failed. The crash killing the adults, but sparing the children. They survived on cassava flour they found on board, eating seeds and fruit, hiding in tree trunks. The father of two of the children, crediting the 13-year-old survival skills she learned as a member of the Cuitoto indigenous community. All the while, military search teams never gave up, tracking every muddy footprint, following a trail of half-eaten fruit, dropping food and supplies from above, even playing audio recordings of their grandmother over loudspeakers. Telling them to stay put, finally finding them three miles from the crash site after 40 days lost. Their family and the nation stunned and overjoyed. And the youngest child, the baby, turned a year old while lost in the jungle. David, the nickname for this rescue operation, Esperanza, which translates to hope. David? Hope indeed. An extraordinary story, Victor. Thank you. Now to the Utah mother of three young children who wrote a book with her children about grief when her husband died. Accused now of fatally poisoning that husband. Tonight, new court documents revealing what she allegedly searched for on the Internet. Here's Katie Rupworth. 
Wiping her eyes through handcuffs, the Utah mother accused of poisoning her husband today appearing in court. All right. Prosecutors say Corey Richens murdered her husband, Eric, by lacing his cocktail with fentanyl. She was uh, deep in debt, and the way to get out of that debt was to kill Eric Richens. The 33-year-old mom went on TV talking about a new book she wrote to help her kids cope. Dad is still here, it's just in a different way. But prosecutors say a digital trail shows after Eric Richens' death, his widow was Googling luxury prisons for the rich, whether police can see deleted messages, and if someone is poisoned, what goes down on the death certificate? Corey Richens had allegedly taken out $2 million in life insurance policies on her husband and used hundreds of thousands of dollars from his bank accounts and credit cards without him initially knowing about it. Her defense arguing money is not a motive. Being bad with money does not make you a murderer. Richens' team pointing out no evidence of fentanyl was found in the home. But Corey Richens' sister-in-law pleading with the judge. Corey is desperate, greedy, and extremely manipulative. If she gets out on bail, I will be afraid not only for my own life and those of all of my family, but most importantly for the lives of Eric's three sons. And David, the judge sharing those concerns, saying sometimes a murder suspect can resort to desperate acts like harming a family member or a witness. Her bail was denied. David. All right, Kena, thank you. When we come back here, severe storms on the move at this hour, Texas to Colorado, then right up the East Coast. Also, the flight from New York to L.A. diverted, then what happened while it was on the ground. And tonight, one of Italy's most colorful leaders has died. No matter what type of severe asthma you have, Tispire can help you have fewer asthma attacks and breathe better. Tispire is an add-on treatment for people 12 and over. It is not a rescue medication. Don't take Tespire if you're allergic to it. Allergic reactions may occur and can be serious. Rash or eye allergy can happen. Don't stop your asthma treatments unless your doctor tells you to. Tell your doctor if you have a parasitic infection or your asthma worsens. Sore throat, joint, and back pain may occur. Avoid live vaccines. No matter who you are, ask your asthma specialist about Tespire today. Upon approaching the 18th green, Isa Tanaka silently proclaimed, My brother may think he's a better golfer, a more witty conversationist. He may think he's superior, but he's not. Because I switched to consumer cellular for the same coverage for up to half the cost. He may have mom's dimples, but I pay less for wireless. I'm the one who waits. When freedom calls, we're here to answer. Pepsi Complete works fast and lasts for powerful heartburn relief. With an antacid that starts working in seconds. And an acid reducer that relieves occasional heartburn all day. Other brands can't do both. Pepsi Complete. Dance are special. What up? Fun. Inspiring. Always there for you. So make Father's Day extra special with gifts he'll love from WeatherTech. Floor liners. Cargo liner. Seat protector, sunshade, ready to wash system, and cup phone. Or our newest product, the golf cart mat. Order these American made gifts or gift card at WeatherTech.com. Have a very happy Father's Day. Up at 2 a.m. again. Tonight, try Pure Z's all night. Unlike other sleep aids, our extended release melatonin helps you sleep longer and longer. Zequel Pure Z's all night. Fall asleep, stay asleep. Tonight, one of Italy's most colorful and controversial former leaders has died. Former Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi was being treated for chronic leukemia. The billionaire media mogul remained popular even while battling sex scandals and corruption allegations. Italy will mark his death with a national day of mourning on Wednesday. Berlusconi was 86. Here in the U.S. tonight, we're tracking severe storms across several states, damaging winds, large hail, and possible tornadoes from Texas to Colorado to Alabama. The system then up the East Coast, the Carolinas, and the Northeast. More severe weather tomorrow from Texas to Florida. We'll track it. When we come back here, the Delta flight from New York to L.A. diverted. And what happened when it was on the ground? Postmenopausal women with HR-positive, HER2-negative metastatic breast